conference today about risk management mm. and why it is needs to be more of a priority for mm. businesses. So perhaps you could explain that concept at the start. Um, I came to talk about risk management really because I thought that um, we had a, a particular story to tell at Meridian. Um, we have a business which is uh, nearly 100% or is 100% dependent on the weather for its outcomes. Um, so there's this huge risk problem that sits right at our heart. Is it going to rain? Is it not going to rain? Um, is it going to be dry? Will irrigators turn their load on? Will the snow um, pack melt in time? All of those sort of issues. And we have to manage that with a, a, a very structured sort of process around it. And it gives us a, a view of risk which is slightly different to some other organisations and means that, that we, we it's a bit easier to embed risk. And I've seen some real benefits from it. And I think that other businesses that can move away from that sort of tick box approach to risk will also see benefits. So really talking about that. So what are some of the benefits companies can achieve? Now, risk management isn't really about managing opportunities. It's about stopping bad shit happening, basically. Um, <coughs> it, it, and um, you need to sort of focus on that first, because people, I think people have a, 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 a sort of unbalanced view of how much they can influence bad things compared to good things. So good things, naturally people go, oh, that was all my fantastic work and intellect and let's get on the bandwagon there and make myself look even better. And a bad thing, you go, oh, that was terrible luck. Let's step away from this issue and move into the other room. If you can get people focused on the fact that you can manage bad things and you can, you can reduce severity and, 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 and so on and so on, you can get a lot of benefit. That, so that's the primary area. And what about your own examples? You had a good case study. Yeah, I mean, uh, a good, good, good one for us would be probably, uh, I mean, the big, the big, the big one for us is, is around how our, our management of that water problem has, has, has shifted and, and our sort of our learning experience was a, a particularly nasty year in 2008 where we had the 10th driest year in history, 83 years of history. And 10th is bad, but it's not really that bad, but we managed it appallingly, not in a joined up way. Uh, we didn't manage our regulatory or political part of the action well, we didn't manage our customer base well, we didn't manage our interaction with other generators well, we didn't manage any of it very well. And the net result of it was a sort of loss in confidence in the organisation to some extent, and we had a forced sale of some assets. We then sort of clicked forward after having learnt our lessons to 2012 where we had the worst year in uh, 83 years of, of history and just absolutely dry as a bone <coughs> and with that worst year we had an outcome which although it was worse than a, a good year was severely sort of um, mitigated and that was actually the year before our, our listing process in 2013 so we were actually able to use that to paint a picture of here here's as bad as it gets and here's how we manage it and um, I think we got a lot of confidence from the investment community in us as a result of that, that performance. And you had some really good advice for the people here today and you had a lovely framework around your four R's. Like, yeah, I mean, could you explain that? Oh, I just made that one up. <laughs> you, you, have to, you have to hang it around something and, and pointless alliteration is always pleasurable, isn't it? <laughs> I, I, it so the first thing that's most important, is, the first R for me is about relevance. So it's about getting people's emotional engagement with the topic. You know, you can, you can appeal to people's intellect, but it really doesn't get them moving along, except in some very weird organisations, um, investment banks. Um, <clears throat> but if you can get them emotionally engaged and, and feeling that it's personal to them, so telling stories of, about success, telling stories about failure and, and when it goes wrong, and really getting, getting it relevant to people, making the measures of consequence relevant, so that, that, that it's not some money might be lost, it's you might have to turn up in front of the board and, and be given a whipping, or you might get fired, or, you know. It's not, we've had an injury, it's you, you're going to have to go and tell somebody's partner that they've been hurt. It, it, make it personal, make it relevant to them. So that's my sort of, my first um, and most important of, of the four R's. Then the, the next one is, is, a, is about responsibility, it's about ownership. You've got you've to give the ownership risks to individuals, not to collective groups and, and sort of vague organisational-wide uh, committees. Somebody's got to feel the pain. Uh, I own some of the big risks in our business um, and, and, and I make it my job to go out there and find ways to improve the consequence and the, and the probability of those risks 
and, and, and make sure that it's embedded in activity for other people. Then, th then you, you really need to look at, at your sort of reporting and, and that's about make the reporting simple and, and, and all that stuff is, is all good but it's about changing the idea from a reporting framework to a conversational framework. So you want to um, have real conversations occurring with the right people in the business and how that ends up in a report somewhere is less important than the actual process of thinking about it. And the last um, piece is, is about the regularity of, of engaging with risk and actually embedding it into your normal business processes. So if you have a business planning process, you'll have objectives out of that business plan, you know, some operational improvements or strategic growth or whatever it is. But in those objectives, you have to have stuff that says, I'm going to be doing X, Y, and Z to specifically improve this risk, to minimize it, to make it go away.